Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I was debating whether or not to film this little grocery haul, but I figured I may as well. It's a little change of pace. I went to Aldi today instead of doing a Walmart grocery pickup. Uh, the Walmart that I was going to pick up at was out of pretty much everything that I had in my cart. So uh, I figured we'll just go to Aldi. I haven't been there in a while. And we always buy certain things from there like fish and their guacamole. And we were running low on the guacamole in the freezer. So I figured we'll just go ahead and do the Aldi run now and stock up on some things for the freezer. So we'll start over with the fresh stuff. We've got a bag of organic Gala apples. They had their Roma tomatoes, a bag of them. I think there's five in here for 95 cents. That's really great. We'll use that for salads. I have leftover feta from last week's dinners. Um, so we'll do that for salads and also for sandwiches. Got the mini cucumbers as always. Some grapes for my son. They had some of the salad mixes on sale, dollar off. So I just picked up one of those to use, make like a Greek style salad. A small bunch of bananas. Got a loaf of the whole wheat bread. That's actually $1.25. I think it's maybe three cents less than Walmart, I wanna say. No, that's for the multi-grain one. Uh, the whole wheat might actually be about $1.50 something. So it's actually cheaper for me to get it from Aldi. We really like the Aldi brand's pasta sauce, so these are 85 cents each. Got two of those for the pantry. Uh, I usually always stick to this one particular dressing that I use, but uh, I have all that feta cheese I want to use up, so I'm going to make some Greek-style ones. And this had a lot of ingredients that sounded very Greek to me. It already has feta in it, and um, what else? Red wine vinegar, so I figured we would give that one a whirl. Also got carrots. <laughs> Forgot that in the fresh section. Uh, some spinach and cheese ravioli just to keep in the freezer for just a quick dinner. Uh, some creamed style corn in the Jiffy Mix are for a recipe coming up for this week. Um, I was going to make my own cornbread, but just for time, I just figured I'll just make the corn muffin mix. Um, it's a little easier and it's really tasty anyway. Uh, we really like this brown basmati rice from Aldi. They were out of it for such a long time. I don't know if there was a recall on it. And yeah, I don't go to Aldi all the time, so I don't know how long the brown version's been in stock again. So I had actually switched to using a jasmine brown rice that I pick up from Target.com. And it's good, but I really like the flavor of the basmati so much better. So I was so happy to actually see this today. I uh, didn't need rice, but the rice doesn't actually expire until next year. I think it's August, 2022. And we use a lot of brown rice and well, and right, white rice too, but um, brown rice uh, in our cooking. So I figured I'd pick up a couple of those for the pantry. We'll put one down in the basement for food storage. But yeah, super happy to see that again. Um, picked up another one of these olive oil mayonnaises. We usually just get the Great Value brand, and this was $1.75, so I think it's actually cheaper. And they were out of it at our Walmart, so I figured we'd try the Aldi kind. Um, we're gonna have shrimp for dinner tonight, so I will thaw one of these, but I got the jumbo size shrimp. Um, I, you know, I don't know why they, they add all these preservatives to retain freshness, but the Aldi one actually doesn't have that. It does add salt to it, which is kind of a bummer because I feel like shrimp are already salty enough. And I add Old Bay seasoning to season my shrimp up. But it doesn't have that preservative in it like a lot of the Walmart uh, brand shrimps do have. So we got a couple of those. Not something we have all the time, but um, just a rare, I guess, treat. Maybe once every few months we'll have some shrimp. So I picked up these. These were $6.49 a bag. And then I also got some haddock fillets. We have one package of the flounder fillets left, but we do like the haddock a little bit more. It's a little bit more of a meatier fish, um, but we like that. So I got two for the freezer. They had their light sour cream there for a dollar and a penny, which is really cheap. Usually I spend a dollar seventy-seven on 
some light sour cream from Walmart. It's the Daisy brand, so I'm probably paying for the brand. I would get the great value if they offered it on pickup, but they don't. So a dollar and a penny, and those don't expire till May. We go through a lot of sour cream, so I just picked up two just to have them on hand for a while. Uh, got a thing of vegetable broth. I'm making a recipe this week that calls for enchilada sauce, but I actually really don't like the flavor of store-bought enchilada sauce. So I have a really good recipe for enchilada sauce that I will make up myself, and then I will freeze the rest for an actual enchilada dish later on. Uh, two of the guacamole, we really like the mild kind from Aldi. We, we did buy the home style one time. I think it's a medium heat. It's good. It's just a little too hot for us. We just like things pretty plain and my toddler loves it too. So we keep it as mild as possible. I got some plain yogurt. I don't usually do a whole lot of like milk um, or things like that in my personal diet. My son will eat yogurt. My husband does milk. Um, and of course I do cheese on anything, but, um, mostly my dairy comes from sour cream and cheese, but, uh, I figured I kind of want something different for breakfast. So I was going to make up some of this banana granola. I used to make it all the time. Um, it's really good. And I like it with just a plain yogurt. They have the Greek style too. The Greek's just a little sour sometimes for me. So I just got the the plain regular, but the granola is slightly sweet, not too super sweet. And then sometimes I would cut up strawberries to add to it, but their strawberries didn't look that great and they were pretty expensive. And I know I can get them cheaper at our local discount store, so I'm gonna skip that. Um, I might actually even wait to open this until later in the week if I get to go to the discount store sometime and pick up strawberries to go with the banana granola and yogurt, but it is so good, the combination of that, yum. Uh, let's see what else. We got uh, just one dozen of just the white eggs. We got some chicken thighs for a crock pot recipe this week that we really like to make. So I got some of those and then they had their spiral uh, hams on sale this week. They were limit two, but I just ended up getting one. Um, they were 95 cents a pound. Um, this is a spiral sliced honey ham. Usually we like the honey ham. Uh, I don't know if I've tried that. I think I did get an Aldi one before when I hosted Easter at my house. Um, we're probably, I don't know what we're doing for Easter this year, but I figured I'd get one. But um, anyway, this one was $14.89 at the full price. Um, the price per pound, I think was a dollar sixty-nine. Yeah, dollar sixty-nine a pound. Um, but they were 95 cents a pound. So this whole ham, which will probably feed us for a while actually, was $8.37. So really good price on the hams, always good price at this time of year for Easter. And it's always better to get them earlier if you can swing it because like this one potentially could stick, I could stick into a crock pot. I used to heat them up through um, in the crock pot just to make life a little easier, but I'll probably end up just cutting off what me, my husband and my son can eat and then freezing the other portion for a later date. Um, but yeah, Picked up one of those, obviously you can use it for sandwiches too, but one of those that was pretty cheap, actually very cheap if you think about it, for $8, you can't even get like sliced lunch meat for $8 from the deli. So that's actually a really good deal. So all in all, I spent just under $81, I think it was like $80.65. So it was actually really reasonable. The Ulti I actually go to near me, um, is the cheapest Aldi I ever have been to and it's excellent. Uh, I don't know why it's so cheap. I guess it's my, lo the location. Um, but I've been to other Aldi's, uh, closer to where my family lives and they are just so much more expensive. So I'm fortunate to have such a great, uh, Aldi and have the, such low prices there. So thank goodness for that. So this is what $80.65 will buy you out our direction from Aldi. So this is what we got today. I may do a discount haul later on in the week just to stock up on produce and things, um, but we'll see how the weather holds up. I don't usually like to go out when it's raining, but we'll see how the weather is and go from there. We'll see you later.